I can, Gary. Thank you. I am at Pleasant Grove Baptist Church here in Cofield. We have just heard the call out, fire in the hole, and we are, they may have heard the boom. That was the first explosion. Uh, we heard a couple of detonations. Just tell us, uh, tell us the type of bombs and, uh, and what happened with those bombs. It's uh, all three of our military orders. Small rounds, uh, more around. There was three of them, or two of them that they were going to detonate, and there was uh, one large uh, bomb that uh, explosive device uh, that uh, they're preparing now. Now, how large is that? Is that one they're detonating? Uh, I'm not sure. It's uh, you know, around four or five foot long. Uh, I don't know exactly what if they fit it by pounds or whatever it might be. It's just a type of military ordinance that This gentleman uh, said that he bought them uh, at a scrap place. I don't know. Uh, it was still under investigation. There are several different uh, federal and state organizations looking into it. To see what's going on with it. Uh, we're under the impression that uh, he was not aware that they were capable of that man. They had been disowned. So that, that's the reason he said he had to know. Well, how were they? Military stuff. How were they found? Uh, we got a uh, call. Uh, it was a fire, a structure fire, and uh, two vehicles were called somewhere around uh, five o'clock Sunday evening after the Northfield uh, Fire Department came in and extinguished the fires. And, there was a, uh, uh, a device that uh, was found in one of the vehicles that uh, they thought may have been an explosive device. So uh, we called the Knox County Bomb Squad in. They come in. They dug two, uh, two detonations, two, two uh, plane detonations on this to, to open this device up to see if there was anything in it. So right now they're, uh, they've, they've taken the device and all that was in it and they're checking it to see uh, if it was a type of uh, explosive device or if it's just an article left in the truck. So how did that lead to these other three parts? <laughs> well, sir, uh, Monday we came out, they were just uh, ATF. people were going over the area to see if there would be another type of explosive device there and they run upon these. So uh, they got a hold of uh, I guess it was Sir, we uh, just to err caution. They uh, DOD wanted us to to uh, have all the children locked down in the school, uh, not necessarily in the room, but in the school building, just in case you know, there was some kind of problem with it. They wanted us to evacuate a uh, half mile radius around 
Uh, of course, I will get my glasses. So, the idea of uh, several miles here, so I'll evacuate back to the church here. And the school. People in schools were notified. Instructed her less to uh, explain to the children that you know that there were going to be three different explosions. Not to worry, they were controlled, and you know nobody would be in any kind of danger. And what have you this before? Or have you ever had to do anything like this before? No, so this is first time experience for me. So, uh, and uh, on the apartment, maybe. Uh, Stick a dynamite, and stick a dynamite through here and there. Uh, but uh, as far as something uh, this might do, uh, this first time. Where's the man now that owns the uh, owns the bonds? He's uh, he would probably be at work. Really? So it's just under investigation. Yes, sir. Right now it's just under investigation. No charges or anything like that. Uh, not until we get all of the information we need. Go to the places where we were supposed to pick these up, find out how they acquired them.